everybody and welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's the first episode of my new series west end mind now can i first of all say excuse the awful wet hair i just came out the shower and i brushed it and also i'm in my pajamas because it's saturday night and i love to be comfy so i'm really sorry that i'm bringing you the first episode of west end mind not really looking that glamorous but yeah really sorry about that but we're gonna have to deal with it so i thought that the first episode of west end mind could be just an introduction um and to how i started getting into acting so we're sort of going to be covering a little bit about my early stages and then a bit into primary school and then i also want to touch in this episode a little bit on stagecoach as well so that's what we're going to cover plus we're going to be answering some of your questions over the series if we do, if i can just quickly say we are going to be covering auditions exams colleges musicals and the the toughest experience in the industry which was my west end experience which was like lots of ups but then there were some real lows so that's what we're kind of going to be looking at over the series but yeah so i in my early stages wanted to be a singer singing was my passion i wanted to do singing acting for me was never really a route that i wanted to go down i didn't really look into acting as a little kid i used to put on like little shows my family like little singing shows I used to dress up and um i remember uh, my friends used to come around and because me and my best friend katie we have a lot in common like she quite likes singing and, and that and um, her and her two sisters used to come around and we used to do like shows to try and get sleepovers she'll probably if she's watching she'll probably comment down below going oh yeah i remember that but we used to do um shows to try and get sleepovers and we would like sing in them and dress up and all of that it was really good if i'm fiddling around with my gum it's just because i've got a sore gum just thought i'd put that out there but yeah so i didn't really look into acting until i went to an academy called stagecoach which i don't know many of my viewers might know what it is but definitely have a look into it if you're looking for a really good like academy or a really good place to like um go because stage coaches is really really good when it was for like the majority of the time i was there so yeah it's it's a really good academy and you can look into it um i in nursery i had pretty bad stage fright now people my viewers might be like emily rickwood having stage fright no way but i did used to have stage fright and we were doing the i think we weren't doing a nativity it was a christmas show the christmas story because we had christmas puds um angels kings we had it all and I was one of the kings and the night of the performance I was just so scared of, I just couldn't go out on stage I couldn't face the audience even though it was just parents back then it was like really really scary for me so I remember just sitting in the back just playing like board games with um one of the people that were helping with the costumes and, and the backstage and I just remember doing that and then right at the end of the show going oh here i am let's do the show and it being over before my eyes that was the only time i had stage fright but i don't think many of my viewers would believe that i did used to have a little bit of stage fright i still do get nervous when i perform but i think that's natural but back then it was like the fact that i wouldn't even step on stage and it was that bad so that was nursery when i went to primary school obviously because i was younger my parents sort of picked my primary school it wasn't kind of my decision because i was quite young i couldn't um my primary school was not really drama based they you know in primary school you don't really do drama that often we only did like christmas activities and and then the, obviously the year six production you know your leavers production that you do so i went to a primary school called clarendon which is literally just down the road from me it's like 10 minutes walking probably about six minutes in the car it's really not that long and it's it's literally just down the road and um i went there and the only sort of drama i did there was all the nativities and i remember one of the nativities i played mary and i had a line right and it said please please can you help us so i shouted it i was like please please can you help us and it was literally the funniest thing and i watched the dvd when i was in secondary school and i could see like people like that and i would be like i literally shouted and it was so funny and then as well at the end i i you know i started to strip the baby jesus 
so you know the, the nativities were quite quite weird and then another year I played one of the three kings I've played an angel so I got in you know you had to get involved in the nativities you have no um, choice you were in the nativities and then obviously everybody in my primary school knew that I had that I wanted to sing that I wanted to do all of that and they you know some of them accepted the fact that I wanted to be a singer others of them just kind of I think just laughed it off and, and thought like I think they thought that I would I would never get there and obviously here I am sitting talking to you today about all the successes that have happened to me so far and giving you advice um about things but um I think most of um my friends in primary school did, did not think that I would ever get to the West End I wouldn't get you know distinctions in exams I don't think anyone thought that I would get that so I'd love to go back to that school and go, you know, this is what I've done. You didn't believe in me because not many of the teachers, I think, believed in me at all because um, some of them were a little bit um, kind of weird around me. But I think that was natural. I had um, a teacher that I was really close to and she knew that I had a passion for, for singing and we used to just sing down the corridor and I felt so relaxed with her because she accepted me for who I was and you know me and her would like sing down the corridor. Yeah it was it was embarrassing at times but it was who I was. I wasn't just gonna like pretend to be somebody I wasn't just because not many people in my primary school have the same interests as me. You know and this is coming to my first top tip. It it doesn't matter if people don't have the same interests as you you can just do what you want and if you want to be an act actress or a singer or a dancer you go for it it is one of the most scariest industries to go into and one of the hardest which i'll you know cover in in the further episodes because everyone knows that the arts is one of the hardest industries to get into and it's the toughest they can either make or break you it's it's but don't be scared to go around the streets and just sing. Like, that's what I do. And people will tell you, because especially people that go to Sandbanks with me and my viewers, like Francesca, would know that I literally sing in all places. I sing around the hotel. And at Sandbanks, they've got a big... Sandbox Hotel is the hotel that I go to on holiday and I'm going in August so I'll be by BT Dubs I'll be vlogging that but yeah they they know my, the entertainment team that work there they know that I sing and dance as well and they accept me so just kind of do what you want if you want to be a singer and you want to sing do it and that's what my primary school friends didn't really understand the fact that I was different to them like they all wanted to be like like popular and, and girly and that and that's just not what I wanted to be but I knew some of them could sing but they just didn't want to and I, I totally understand that and then it came to like the year six um end of production you know your leavers production that you do and we did a show called going for gold and it was reflected on um the olympic like Jessica Ennis you know and all of them and we had those um four people telling the story and i played a swimming instructor and that was really really fun we were taught we were we had to sing about like plasters going in the water it was awful i would never want to play that part again that is not a part that i would ever want to play again because it's just like I, I don't want to play a swimming instructor that's not what I want to play but again in primary school I think you just have to grin and bear it and the thing in primary school is you sort of had to bite your tongue if that makes sense like there was no sort of sticking up for yourself in primary school obviously in secondary school people do that all the time you know answering about the teachers but in primary school there was nothing like that so you couldn't really fight for your part because they wouldn't even listen to you you got a part and you had to just do it and that was primary school for you to just do the part and I was very, very tall for my age, so, you know, it was a little bit of... I've always sort of thought, well, because I'm um, I'm tall, will it be difficult to get into the industry? Will I be able to get into the parts that I want to do? And obviously, for all the musicals that I've seen, I'm thinking, well, maybe me being tall is a little bit of a a bad thing because I don't know because most of the parts that I want to play you've got to sort of be medium height and that's not that's not me so there is that sense of worry that I might not make it further because I'm I am very 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 tall but we'll just have to see and about that I, I really don't know 
So, um, because I've talked a bit, let's answer some of your questions. So I'm going to just get my iPad and we'll answer your questions. Okay, so I've got my iPad with um, six questions today. And as I said on a story, I'll always put a question poll on my story for every week so if you do have a question that you want to ask and you want it answered in the video then I'll do that so these are the six questions that I received this week and yeah um for next month when we next um come for the next episode of West End Mind I'll put the question poll up again you don't need to wait for the question poll you can just keep dming me your questions and I'll just keep adding them to the list but I've got six questions that we're going to go through and answer now Okay, so the first one, so the first one says, what is performing arts like at school? Now, performing arts at school is, it's very fun. It's a little bit stressful though, because um, of, you know, the teachers want you to do really, really well. So there is a lot of hecticness, especially in secondary school, which obviously I am going to talk more about secondary school acting in a, in a net, in a further episode but i'll touch on it a little bit you know like the, some of the um shows i've done at thamesmead they've been really really fun but they've also been a little bit hectic as well people just kind of you know traveling backstage so i'd say the performing arts at school is fun if i could sum it up in three words fun hectic crazy but yeah I, it's really good at school because you get that opportunity to to show the teachers what you've got so yeah i'd say that it's it's good Okay, next one. How so? Someone asked, "How do you pass GCSE drama without doing GCSE drama?" I actually don't know, and that's a question that I I actually don't know. Um, I don't think there is a way. Actually, I think if you want to be an actress, you'd have to get a a qualification in drama. I don't I don't know if there's a way. If anybody knows a way that you can get a drama GCC without taking drama, let me know in the description box because I don't really think it's possible. I think you have to you have to have a drama qualification, but I, I don't know about that one. I'm really sorry. I wish I knew the answer to that one, but I don't. Sorry, my mum just came in, but moving on. Um so yeah I don't know if there if you can um get a qualification without doing drama but I, I don't know okay next question somebody asked where do you like to wear your mic so there's many ways that you can wear your mic so I put my mic belt on mainly underneath my costume so that um it's all there and then I can because especially for quick changes it's easier if your mic belt is underneath because then if it's on the front you have to then take it off and I can't be dealing with that so quickest um is to put your mic belt underneath your costume and then put your mic pack in and then thread it up through your costume and sellotape it on that's how I like to wear my mic but there's there's various different ways you can wear it so I don't I don't know okay next what are the school productions like so literally like the first question school productions are quite hectic but they're really fun and, and energized as well we have we have so much fun and I, I met most of my friends at the secondary school that I'm at now through the arts and that's the amazing thing about arts, you can meet all lots of different people so yeah it's really good, they're really good. Okay next, somebody asked how old were you when you started performing arts? So I'd say I was 9 or 10 when I wanted to start singing i was obviously young but performing arts about nine or ten i don't really know the exact time but i've been doing it for about six seven years now so yeah and then the last question somebody just asked how do you feel about it i really like performing arts it makes me it's i'm able to like like express myself and and be amazing and just be who i want to be you know just I'm just able to be who I want to be. There's no justification on that. Um, so that's basically all that I'm going to cover today. I know that's been a bit of like a kind of all over the place video. But I was just sort of giving you my stage fright and then a bit of primary school. So next month when we do more on West End Mind, we're going to look at secondary school. And we're going to be looking more into the productions that I did. 
and also we will touch upon a little bit more about a performing arts that I was part of called Stagecoach which I will touch upon in the next episode um sorry yeah that was all over the place but I hope that you enjoyed it hopefully you got a little bit more info about what I did when I was in primary school and yeah um I also wanted to quickly say to you that I am going to Thought Park on Wednesday with my friend, which I touched upon yesterday. Um, I really, really, really do want to vlog, but I, I don't know um, if, I don't know how many people will be there, but obviously today and tomorrow it's going to be really busy because Thought Park's just reopened, as you guys know. But obviously, I don't know how many people will be there, but wednesday it's an inset day for my school so i'm hoping it'll be really really nice and quiet and there'll be no one sort of walking towards me and you know i've got my um i'm vlogging at the same time so if a vlog does go up on wednesday then hallelujah but if it doesn't then i'm really really sorry but i will try and vlog and if i don't see you on wednesday then i will see you next friday for a brand new video thanks guys bye